Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also, leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the at mock annotation to create mocks. So recall that, um, uh, you know, all of the mocks that we've been creating uh, is being, you know, we've been using the mock, um, you know, public static, um, you know, factory method here. Uh, and, you know, this, if you are writing a single test, you know, this might be okay, but notice that, you know, we've been writing, uh, you know, quite a, a bit of methods here and every single time it just gets, you know, uh, tedious to keep you know, writing mock, um, and you know, it just makes the tests you know less readable, you know, and 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 more verbose. So um, you know, because I like simplicity and and readability, because it helps maintainability, um, I'm going to show you uh, you know how to actually specify a mock without having to write all of this boilerplate code. So this is where the at mock annotation comes in handy. So basically you use at mock, okay? And then you put the type of the mock that you are interested in. So recall that we are using either library service DAO in this class or we are using a library service. So basically we'll need to create two fields and let's give the same name as the um, local variable that we're using in all of these methods, just to make our life easy. So we've got a library service mock uh, you know, that's one of them. And let's just make these fields uh, private, okay? And obviously we have another one, uh, which is the library service DAO. Uh, let's call the O again and tag it with the, annotate it with the at mock annotation, okay? So that's the first thing you need to do. And the second thing you need to do is you need to um, initialize, uh, you know, basically this um, class with the, uh, um, you know, with the mocks. So, um, so basically we will need a public, uh, I mean, it doesn't actually need to be public, but, you know, just a, a void method, uh, setup, let's call it setup. Um, and basically you need to call, let's annotate it with before each. So as you know, before each is a method uh, that is going to be called before each test. And what we're doing here is we are initializing the mock. So basically this call, what it does is it looks at, uh, basically resolves this annotation. So look at this um, field in this class, okay? Where you're passing this and basically um, initializes, um, you know, these fields, we, uh, you know, with the, um, as mocks. So basically that's what you need to do. So you basically um, declare a field in your test class annotated with at mock and um, you initialize these fields with this call. Okay. And again, I'm doing this on before each so that for each invocation of each test, then my, I have a fresh, you know, um, two mocks here or instances of two mocks. So now obviously what we need to do is we need to get rid of this. So let's just get rid of this boilerplate code. Okay. So all of the mocks that we've been creating manually here, we're going to get rid of it because we don't need them anymore. Okay. So good. So now let's just clean this stuff up. So notice that now we're not worried about creating any mocks. Um, so they are being created by the framework here. So let's now uh, run this test and see what we get. So notice that all the tests pass. Um, and, you know, from now on, um, you know, moving forward in this uh, Mokito 2 course, we're going to just basically be specifying our mocks uh, like that as fields of a test class using the um, mock annotation. Okay. So um, I hope you found this uh, video useful. This is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com. Thanks for watching.